So now in this video, we're going to use the uh, diode OR gate from a uh, recent video and we make a window comparator right here. So um, normally a comparator, you either need a high enough voltage, let's say to get the output high, or a low enough voltage, let's say to get the output low, um, whichever way you want to go uh, with the output. Uh, there's uh, two states. Here we got a few. So actually right now um, we got the uh, resistor, the positive supply there. LED making its way to the output, but we have diodes, so we can only get, uh, when it comes to the LED, um, one of the uh, states where it's low, it will light up. We cannot add another blue LED that's going to light up when the output is high. Um, at least, uh, I haven't figured out how to wire that up. I don't know that I've tried. Um, but in case, there you can see, we're about uh, halfway there, so now I'm going to raise the trim pot voltage. Now you can see the output is low because we got more positive again coming. So we know that one of these uh, op amps there is uh, the output's connected to ground. So the other one's still high, but because of the diode, uh, current can't flow, you know, the two diodes, current cannot flow from one output to the other. That's very important. Otherwise, we'd have a short circuit. So now I'm going to go back halfway. So that was going up. We got a low output and coming down. Now, uh, the other op amp has a low output. The one that was low before is still high, but it doesn't matter. The uh, LED and uh, the two inputs, uh, but the LED only sees whatever output is low right now, and that is why it is lit up. So it's a com uh, window comparator because um, it's comparing uh, voltages, but here's a little window where the output is high. On both ends, the output is low. So now zooming into the diagram I drew, um, this is gray, it's not uh, being washed out by the camera, it really is uh, just uh, didn't print very well for whatever reason, but you should be able to see it. So when we look at the physical component, we're using the LM358 by the way, um, so we got to power it, top right positive supply, bottom left uh, negative supply right there. We're just using 5 volts uh, for this video, and uh, so it's ground. Now after you take the supplies into consideration, the top pin of each op amp is the output, the pin below it is inverting, minus, and the one below that is non-inverting, plus. Same on that side. So we're going to begin our journey with uh, the load right here. So we got an LED, 5 volts, 220 ohms to protect the LED from about 5 volts. We are going to get some losses. Uh, first off, red LED drops about 2 volts. And then whether we're going that way or that way, even if we split it up, we'll have an additional 0.6 volts due to the diode drop. Um, but in case, here you can see, if uh, this one is low, it's connected to ground. That's more negative now. That's more positive of that diode. So a short lead cathode needs to be more negative. Long lead anode needs to be more, or actually, the, uh, when it comes to the rectifier diodes, uh, LEDs, you got the different links. Also, there's usually a little shaving, um, but otherwise it's hard to tell which end is uh, anode and cathode for the LED. So long lead and then short lead. Also probably a shave side right there. For uh, rectifier diodes and other diodes, there's a gray band where the cathode is. Uh, the, the leads are the same uh, length if you don't trim them. Um, but in case, we get uh, cathode uh, more negative and then we'll have the anode more positive. We have conduction uh, right there. Now, so we're thinking of this one as ground for whatever reason. Uh, we'll get to that later. And uh, this one, uh, probably still high, but that side more positive. This side headed to ground uh, right there. We won't get conduction. That'll be more positive. This one will be more negative due uh, to the current flow that way. Uh, we just have a dead end here. So we get this back to positive. Then we got positive on all three sides. No uh, current flows, of course. We drop this one down to a negative, uh, though, a low output right there. Now the cathode is more negative. We got more positive uh, coming uh, that way. Um, but this negative can't be transferred through that diode because that would be positive to the cathode, uh, negative to the anode. You don't get uh, current flow right there. So hopefully that makes sense. It can either flow uh, that way to ground, that way to ground if one or the other output is low. If we were able to get both outputs low, then whatever current gets through here would probably divide evenly, not necessarily evenly, um, but probably close to evenly uh, to both of those. The load wouldn't uh, know the difference. You got uh, uh, negative supply there, also negative supply, the same connection there, each way going through a diode. Um, so it doesn't uh, 
even realize it's going through two diodes. It passes the same current. So now since the uh, trim pot is out of the way here, we will uh, cover that first. We have um, a jumper going from the non-inverting input of the uh, first op amp. So that's uh, down here, the number one side and uh, a jumper going across to the inverting input of the other op amp and then uh, connected to one of the sides of those jumpers but ultimately it's all one connection point there we got a jumper going to our trim pot so we can get any voltage from the positive supply to the negative supply for the most part right there i did not add dots um, to the schematic that i drew together because it should be pretty obvious that all of these are uh, connected right there if there was a no connection point i would have a jump over but um you know uh, everything's connected right there it's pretty obvious so now we're going to come to the more confusing uh, part it's going to even be a little uh, tricky for me to explain it uh, but we have a uh, voltage divider here so when you have three equal resistor voltage divider you know equal value resistors then the side that's closer to uh, the positive supply right there will be two thirds of that uh, supply uh, voltage. And uh, the side that's farther away from the positive, we got one out of two resistors down here, will be about one third of the supply voltage. So we got zero, one third, two thirds full supply voltage. And you can see that right here. So we got a 1000 ohm uh, resistor. That's positive supply though. And um, so there we go. That's that resistor coming to the plus of the uh, number two op amp. And then uh, one third or 1000 I mean ohm resistor coming to the inverting. So the middle pin of the other op amp because remember where the supply voltages are. They're, they shuffle it. And uh, so we got that one right there. And then a 1000 ohm resistor headed to ground uh, right there. Our three equal value resistor voltage divider. So now here uh, is where the explanation gets trickier and uh, maybe the understanding. So we have the op amp. So it's wired as a comparator. It's simply looking at uh, these two voltages. As long as this voltage is higher. So, um, you know, that's uh, two thirds of the supply voltage range when it comes to the trim pot, the lower two thirds of the range. Then the output is high, as long as this one's higher. When you raise this uh, voltage above two thirds of the supply voltage, then the output goes low. That's because we have a higher voltage than what we have here. This becomes the lower voltage and the op amp wants to be, the output wants to be more like this one here. So it has a lower voltage and thus we have a low output and the LED turns on. So now we established here, the trim pot gets a high enough voltage that sets this one low. Now we drop the uh, voltage down at some point, both of these are going to be high and there'll be no uh, light. But we have our one third supply voltage here going to the inverting input. So now we're gonna look at the lower end. When uh, it's a little bit above one third supply voltage or any amount of uh, voltage when it comes to the trim pot, then uh, one third supply voltage, the output is high right there. We're gonna ignore that one there. When we drop the trim pot below one third of the supply voltage, remember the output wants to be more like the non-inverting input than the inverting input. So in the case over here, the voltage drops lower than one third supply voltage. This one's fixed, I always remember that. The voltage drops lower than one third of the supply voltage, it'll be lower than this one right here. Since this one is lower, we have a low output and the LED turns on. So hopefully that makes sense. This uh, op amp comparator, it's being wired as a comparator, goes low when the voltage is above two thirds of the supply voltage, otherwise it's high. This uh, op amp here, the output goes low when the uh, signal voltage here is lower than one third supply voltage. That's when it goes low. So above two thirds supply voltage low, below one third supply voltage low when it comes to the trip pot. In the middle of those two voltages there, the output is a uh, high on uh, both sides right there. And our load is off, the LED is off. Again, we wired this so the LED lights up when the uh, output is low. And uh, I did that for uh, whatever reason, I don't know, I made this schematic a long time ago. We could switch it where an LED would turn on when the output's high, we'd have to turn around uh, those LEDs and then have uh, the LED or the uh, diodes there. We'd have to turn around the diodes there and uh, have the LED 
you know, slide this uh, down uh, to uh, ground, flip that around, and uh, go to the negative supply. Um, if that is easier to understand, um, but just remember, I have a red LED. I could have used a blue LED to indicate uh, the output was low. Um, maybe that would have been better. But uh, any case, I uh, I just explained it. Hopefully, it makes sense. Maybe I'll I'll probably do this demonstration circuit again in the future. Hopefully, I'll remember. Maybe use a blue LED to indicate that the output is low. But in any case, uh, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.